Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> what a greeting. In any case, a suspect was arrested. Man. Edgeworth is explaining the DL6 incident where his father was murdered. That's right. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. I killed him. I mean, someone um, killed him. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? what? You uh, mean your somebody's daughter? It's <laughs> strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th, 1989. Madonna's Like a Prayer was top of the charts. <laughs> December 28th! The statute of limitations on this case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. So you can easily see why I had to shoot that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? Uh, Shot him too. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. I don't know. He disappeared from probably few. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. Definitely not in pieces in my basement. <laughs> I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. <laughs> they call me Edgeworth because when I'm chopping them up, I'm like, ha ha ha, don't you know what this edge is worth? Oh, come on, no. Uh, okay. That's you. I'd be hard to, it'd be hard, it'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. <laughs> You've got a pretty big case yourself, right? <laughs> oh, God. Um, so your father was a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. Yardstick Edgeworth. So you were the sir you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. No. No, whatever. Whatever. I'd rather not talk about it, whatever. <laughs> he never understood my scarf. Hmph. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? Oh, hell no! Of course we won't! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wonder what happened. Uh, who could have guessed this get this day would come? I'm gonna revel in this one. Not me. <laughs> Little old Edgeworth this, begging for my help. This shit sucks. <laughs> this is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Yes, by intentionally throwing the case and sending this asshole to jail. <laughs> pay me back? For what? I don't remember Ed for doing anything for you. Never no. mind. I guess you don't really need to know, you stupid f Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. But he literally just did something for me in the last case. Yes. You'd think he'd remember very clearly. Document proving Edgeworth's request for an attorney. Well, I guess we should, uh, mosey on out of oh, here. I guess we'll be on our way. <laughs> well, well, what's that? An earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! It's coming down! <laughs> ah, that was scary! Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? Uh, there! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering! I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball is something that people normally do during earthquakes. What a bad, 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 was Should that like- we, Shouldn't we, uh, shouldn't we see him or- No, we're gonna just leave this to our department, it's fine. Well, I would assume that because the bang scared him, he was in the boat, and then the bang scared him and he curled up into a ball on the floor. Oh so that the photo didn't take it, 
and then the guy oh. shot him, and then he jumped out of the boat. And then Edgeworth stood up and picked up the gun and was like, oh no. Holy crap. That's a hell of a hypothesis, eh? Yeah, uh, well, why would they make him do that, then? Yeah, it's a good point. What the hell's the excuse? Uh, Maybe they're just character building. They're just world building, here. Oh. They're just making buildings of worlds. <laughs> this one's the Empire State Building. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Eek! What's wrong to- What's wrong to take you? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> this wild lady comes in here just a while ago. She sits on my wiener. She says, She looked my wiener straight in the eye! <laughs> she, she stared down the barrel of it! <laughs> Staring down the barrel of a wiener. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's all this about, pal? Lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, uh, I mean, she did, so she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay. Can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you, you're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Just that it's terrible and I could do well. Just maybe get your hair, uh, combed. Or oh, something. Diff. <clears throat> so, uh, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. It looks just like Edgeworth, like a big schmear on the page. A <laughs> schmear? Yeah. Right. I saw it too. But you really can't tell who from the photo it is. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. Oh. She said it'll drop the quality a mite, but should let us see who's who. She can do that? Uh, okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. Super. In any case, she's gonna be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I, like, got caught in a sneeze that never materialized. <laughs> what, what happened to the other witness? <laughs> I just, like, please, please, anything <laughs> happened. That was, like, pure limbo. <laughs> well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? What does cancellation that mean? Cancellation button? <laughs> Fuck! Even in the future, nothing works. <laughs> I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Edgeworth. We gotta get- We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder, and she got a photo taken when the shot rang out! I'm gonna have a hernia! <laughs> I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If she- Don't hit me with that! Clock! <laughs> no, before that. <laughs> if he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. <laughs> Don't hit me with that. <laughs> no, before that. <laughs> it sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is gonna ask the state to decide to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal! Go talk to him again for me, please! You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him! Please! Stop, Siri. God, she never shuts up. I know you're the only one who could do it, pal. You're the only one who could save Edgeworth, you... You sneaky, smelly... Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> look what I... Look what I got... Oh, gimme, gimme! <laughs> hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. I'll use them to roll doobies. <laughs> it was my divorce papers, but now I'm feeling like going home and getting some. There has to be someone who rolled a blunt in his divorce papers. <laughs> oh man, that rules. Yeah, it's, it's a baller move. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Siri! <laughs> Jesus, what is wrong with you? So hard. Why are you always listening to me? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> well, see you tomorrow in court then. <laughs> Good luck, pal. <laughs> hey! Whoever smelt it, dealt it, am I right, guys? You you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? Yeah, well, whoever denied it, supplied it. <laughs> I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Earthquake City. Uh, yeah, are, where are they? Are they in Japan? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. 
He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go and eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial and, and have dessert. And maybe talk about, like, your feelings oh and stuff. Oh my god, which male character in this game is fucking Edgeworth? There's so many possibilities. Yeah. Later! Alright, see ya. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. I mean, we could've just asked. I mean, he- he hates them. That seems to be clear. <laughs> he was never that scared of them when he was in school. Maybe in- <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an earthquake killed his father, but then I realized his father is dead. Then again, I only really got to know him in the fourth grade. He transferred wow. to another school after that. And we never had an earthquake then. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Earthquake. <gasps> they rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. More progress, progress has been made. Oh, Did right investigation. Danger. Oh, it's day two of the trial! Yeah! Hell yeah. Awesome. And I'll say it again. Progress. You're making progress, kid. You better find out about what's the deal with the earthquakes, because that's gonna be the whole thing that breaks open this case. <laughs> Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case! He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. <laughs> Wink. Wink. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> oh, whatever, you naughty bitch. <laughs> mm. I love when you talk like that to me. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. I don't know what it is. I think it's like that Edgeworth and Phoenix are the same like general size in the text box. So like my brain doesn't like see it as usually it's the size of the word. Oh yeah, because like, Maya's so small. Yes, I'm like okay, it's Maya, and also Maya appears on screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me multiplied by a factor of ten. <gasps> Imagine what it'll do to my uh, wiener. That's ten Edgeworths. So he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. Your lover teacher? <laughs> That's a lot closer wait, to wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. I said that already! He's as ruthless as me, times 20. You just and said since there are 10 me's, that's 200 times the Edgeworths. <laughs> that's pretty ruthless. I know. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, WHERE IS SHE?! <laughs> uh -huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Uh, you are kind of worthless right now. Oh. Huh? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't, uh, reach? She's not cookies on the top <laughs> shelf. It's a dead woman. <laughs> I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh, you need that waterfall, huh? Oh, that's right. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Aaron. <laughs> Jeepers. What are you whispering about? I'M NOT WHISPERING! Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, it's time. Let's head in. You'll know when my 60-year-old uh, partner turns into a 35-year-old giant-breasted lady. We're not whispering. <laughs> I wasn't- I wasn't whispering. I wasn't whispering. <laughs> You're whispering. The district court. Courtroom number three. 10 a.m. on the dirt. Oh, baby. Oh, oh look at is. that guy. That's yeah, Manfred von Karma. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Whoa. Damn. Karma. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> you seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? R right, my apologies. I, I guess 
I'm a bitch here. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm the asshole in this okay. situation. Okay, and uh, I guess next time on Game Grumps, we will see how this bitch plays out. Oh. 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 Oh.